In this video tutorial, I'm going to discuss about diagonals of polygon. The first figure here is of a quadrilateral. It's a four-sided polygon. Now tell me the non-consecutive vertices, which are the non-consecutive vertices, non-consecutive vertices in this quadrilateral or of any quadrilateral, right? So non-consecutive vertices are in this figure, this one and this one, right? This and this are not, let's name it, if I name it as A, B, C and D. C and D are consecutive vertices. These are consecutive vertices. So if we name the consecutive vertices here, C and D, similarly C and B, similarly B and A, and similarly A and D. These are consecutive vertices. This D and B are non-consecutive vertices. D and B and similarly this A and C are non-consecutive vertices. Okay, now whenever we connect, whenever we connect two non-consecutive vertices, we get a diagonal. So if you connect this B with D, this is a diagonal. So diagonal is BD or DB, whatever you call it. Whether you say it BD or DB. The line segment BD or the line segment DB, this is one diagonal and another one will be this diagonal that is the line segment AC or the line segment CA of this quadrilateral. So in all the quadrilaterals, whether it is a rectangle, whether it is a square, whether it is a parallelogram, whether it is a rhombus, trapezium or a kite, all the quadrilaterals have two diagonals, two diagonals. Okay. Now let's move to this that is a five-sided figure. It is a five-sided polygon and called pentagon. So we have a pentagon here. Tell me first all the non-consecutive or first tell me consecutive one. Let's discuss consecutive vertices. If you look at this figure, then let's name it starting from here A, this is B, this is C, this is D and this is E, right? So if we talk about consecutive vertices, then starting from here A and B are consecutive vertices, then A and E are consecutive vertices, then B and C are consecutive vertices, C and D are consecutive vertices. D and E are consecutive vertices. Okay, if these are consecutive vertices, next question is, is what, which all are non-consecutive one? Non-consecutive vertices. So if we talk about non-consecutive vertices, then D and A are non-consecutive. D and A, then D and B are non-consecutive. So D and B are non-consecutive. Then if you look at, let's take this one, C. So C and E are non-consecutive. C and E are non-consecutive. C and A are non-consecutive. C and A are non-consecutive. 
and then B and E are non-consecutive, right? So we have these pair of consecutive word, non-consecutive vertices. Let's connect it. Let's first connect D and A. So if you connect D and A, you get this diagonal that is either you call it line segment AD or line segment DA. This is the first diagonal. This is one diagonal. Next one is D and B. So if you connect D and B, you have this diagonal that is the line segment DB or the line segment BD, right? Then you have C and E. So if you connect C and E, then this is the diagonal CE or the line segment EC. The line segment CE or the line segment EC. This is another diagonal. Then let's connect CA. So if you connect CA, you have this diagonal. So line segment AC or line segment CA. This is another one. Then we are left with B and E. So if you connect B and E, then this is another diagonal that is line segment BE or the line segment EB. So this is the diagonal, these are the diagonals one, two, three, four, and five. So if you have a pentagon, if you have a pentagon, you have five diagonals. This is a six-sided polygon and it is called hexagon. Hexagon. And let's name all the vertices A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now, name all the non-consecutive vertices. So, the name of all the non-consecutive vertices, the pairs of non-consecutive vertices are, let's name it, start from D, D and E, sorry, D and F, D and A, D and B. Now let's take E, E and A, E and B, E and C. Now let's take F, F and B, F and C, and then if you take A, a E is already done, A D is already done, A C is left, so you take A C. Right? Is there any other one? Any any pair of vertices left? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have nine pairs of non-consecutive vertices. Let's start. Let's connect D and F. So if you connect D and F, if you connect D and F, so this line segment DF or FD, this is one diagonal, then you connect D and A. So if you connect D and A, this is something like this here. So the diagonal the line segment DA or AD, this is another diagonal right then d and b so if you connect d and b this is another line segment right then e and a so this e and a is another line so line segment ea or 
line segment AE. This is another diagonal. Then comes E and B. So if you take this E and B, this is EB or the line segment BE. Then comes the number of E and C. So you connect E and C here. The line segment EC or the line segment CE. Then comes F and B. So F and B means this one. So the line segment FB or BF is another diagonal. Then F and C. So if you connect F and C, FC or the line segment CF. And finally comes A and C. So if you take A and C, this one is line segment AC or CA. So how many diagonals we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So in the case of six-sided polygon, that is hexagon, you have nine diagonals. You have nine diagonals. Right? Tell me about this one. Tell me about this one, two, three, four. It's a quadrilateral. It's a four-sided, so it's a quadrilateral. What are which all are the non-consecutive vertices? Non-consecutive. So clearly, if you name all the vertices, let's name it A, B, C, and D. Then you can see here the no, there are only few non-consecutive vertices that is C A and B D, right? C A and sorry. C and A and B and D, right? Only two pairs of non-consecutive vertices. Now, if you remember, we have discussed here in this one, in the case of quadrilateral, that you have only two pairs of non-consecutive vertices. And that is why it doesn't matter what kind of quadrilateral it is, it is, going, it is always going to have only two diagonals. And that's exactly what we are no, we can see here that is it has only two pairs of consecutive vertices. This is also a quadrilateral only because it's four sided quadrilateral and therefore it has it's something different kind of quadrilateral and we'll learn in our next video tutorial about the shapes you know convex and concave and all. So uh, this is a concave quadrilateral or polygon. In this C and A, if you connect the C and A, then this is one diagonal. So line segment AC or line segment CA is one diagonal. And you will see here one very different kind of diagonal. Here you can see it's, it's lying exterior, right? In this case, you can see that all the diagonals are within the boundary of this quadrilateral. But in this figure, you can see one diagonal is within the boundary of this quadrilateral, but another one that is BD is actually lying outside this uh, quadrilateral, outside the boundary of this quadrilateral that is in, uh, in the exterior region. So this is another diagonal that is diagonal BD or line segment DB. So we have two diagonals in this case that is in, in all the quadrilaterals, in all the quadrilateral you'll have Only two diagonals. Sorry. Okay. Now, can you tell this is a three sided polygon that is a triangle? Can you tell me the non consecutive vertices in this triangle? In any triangle, non consecutive vertices. So, in the triangle, if you in this figure, if you name it ABC, 
So in the triangle, you are not going to have any non-consecutive vertices. You're not going to have any non-consecutive vertices. We don't have any non-consecutive vertices. That is why we don't have any diagonals. We don't have any diagonals when it comes to triangle, when it comes to the triangle. So the triangle doesn't contain any diagonal.